of Dragon Age 2. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, all you folks that are out there today, and welcome back to another episode in Dragon Age Fortune and Fate. I am your GM, Rob, here, and we are with five plucky adventurers who decided to jump into a sewer today. Uh, let's just do quick introductions, if I may, starting with in the order of my mind, starting with Theta. Yeah, I'm Oscar Bianca, a mysterious stranger in the background of every scene. I'm that guy that shows up when you pick a certain talent in uh, the Fallout series. You're, you're the... <laughs> oh, that's a you're good one. the Wanderer. That's a good one. Uh, speaking of which, the other person speaking was Griffin. Hey, everybody. Uh, I was about to take a sip of my water, but I am playing Whirlin, the escaped elven slave, who's also a mage, who also is on the front line. Just make sure it isn't Antiv and Sip Sip, dude. <laughs> it's, it's too er it's too early in the day for that. It's it's always the right time for Sip Sip. Speaking exactly. For, speaking of Sip Sip, we also have uh, Tyler. Hello, everybody. I play the the apostate mage Rodan. All right, and then next Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Okay, we're going in Howard Stern territory. Next is uh, Duke. Ah, I am Duke. I play Ankus, young, dumb dwarf, ready for fighting. Oh, well, thank God you didn't finish that rhyme. And finally, <laughs> we have uh, Mark. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm playing the Tabinta Mage person. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best description I ever heard of a Tabinta Mage person. Um. And Mark is uh, playing Marius, the Tevinter oh, Mage. That, that's his name. Yes. <laughs> uh, we last left our heroes. Um, they are in the city of Kirkwall. A year after it was devastated by a rebellion. They're currently searching for something known as the Amulet of the War Mage, a specific amulet held by a uh, Tevinter wizard by the name of Lorinus. And their trail has led them on a goose chase across the city in the uptown, upscale uh, high towns to the dark of uh, low towns to the terrible squalors of Darktown itself. Along the way, they've met a ex-Templar by the name of Adrian, also seemingly searching for somebody um, that was associated with uh, Lorinus, somebody by the name of um, Alden. And through that, they have discovered a couple of clues that have led into this sewer under Darktown itself. So they're even under Darktown now in one of the darkest areas in all of Kirkwall. As they've entered this sewer, they've out of nowhere encountered a bunch of glowing creatures in the muck. These creatures then started moving closer to them and closer to them until they were all of a sudden surrounded in the front. And now they get ready to strike. So, we are jumping right into a combat right off the bat today, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to be really getting the ball rolling here. First up on the initiative order will be Mosca. Now, are you going to do anything, or are you going to well, just stand? just two considerations, since uh, Roden joined the conversation late on this one. One, you also need to roll your initiative. He might be ahead of me, who knows. Good catch. And two, just want to point out for Roden's sake, before this comes out, the Templar is still with us. Ex-Templar. Possible still Templar is still with us. You know, I'm just... <laughs> oh, oh, I am aware. All right. I am very so much one, aware. That was our whole conversation beforehand, is whether this guy still needs to live or not. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, I hold. You hold. Okay. Next up, then. Uh, uh, did you roll initiative there, uh, Tyler? So I could see it for the full order. I, I, I thought I did roll. All right. No, I, I, I did not see it it's come up. literally the first thing I said when we started. is like, I thought we rolled before. No, we didn't. Oh, 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 oh yeah, because I didn't have my token highlighted, so it didn't take. Okay. Well, we rolled Perception last session. We never rolled Initiative. There we go. All right, let me just reorder it real quick. 
Okay, so Moscow holds. Next is the um, the creatures, these uh, slime things. And they see th uh, lovely people in front of them that look delicious. Um, Ankus, two of them are going to try and, like, splash onto you. You just see, uh, like, like almost like a... It, it's like a tentacle kind of just lash out from the water. And you see, like, this acidic-looking ooze try to secrete across your chest. Ugh, lovely. Uh, 11 to your defense, I think, does nothing. No, I don't think so, yeah. All right. The um, next... Um, the second one is going to go after you as well because only two of them can go after you. How about 15? Nope, shy by one. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right. Um, <laughs> Dwarf, well, together, strong. Uh, meanwhile, the third one is grasping at Whirlin. Oh, oh no. 13. Uh, 13 will be a hit. I don't have that high of defense. And he has six stun points. Ooh. You have. Oh. You have 16 defense, Angus? Yeah. Yes, I do. Remember, we got me better armor last, uh, when we went Your shopping. Your armor is not defense. Point uh, well, it's the shield, too. All right. Well, the shield is defense. No, uh, yeah, no, I'm saying that he said armor. Don't correct him for him. Mm. Yes. No, okay, I'm just, so I'm just saying because it's, what's your dexterity? We had this confusion uh, before, so I just want to make sure. That's fine. Let's see. Uh, my dexterity is only one, but I also have the feet that gives me the plus the shield. Right, so, and the shield is, what, two? Um, let me see what kind of shield I have. Because so far, that's only 13 defense. No, I know we also upgraded my shield as well. Right, but I think shields go one, two, and three. They do. So I believe you have the two shield down? Because that's only 13 oh, defense so far. But my worry here then... is that you're adding your armor to your defense, which is a no. All I remember that I did go over it with you last time, but maybe I maybe I did get it wrong again. Hold on. You uh well we can we that. can knock it down. Yeah, we'll knock it down because I don't want to be too tough if that's the case. I'm not worried about that necessarily. Um, so uh, the slime as it uh, grabs onto you, uh, Whirlin, you actually knocked prone. And it makes a second uh, attack on you, as is if it's trying to like roll on top of your body. Oh no! And engulf you. Me prone. There we go. Oh gosh, the symbol's so big because the tokens are so small. This is it's like Dragon Quest. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. So it hits yep. you twice. Now let's do the damage. Yep. God, uh, got my four armor. Let's see how much I tank. Oh, come on. It does literally nothing. No, 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 no. It's penetrating, so it does two damage. No. That's one, two. Oh, no. It's Ashton. Help. Ah, it tickles. Ah. Okay. Ah. Now, after a successful attack, the slime does 1d6 penetrating damage every round on its turn until it's driven off or scraped away on you. Nice. And that's all I'm going to tell you. Okay. Yeah, it will continue to hurt. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is fortunate, because my turn's up next. Um, real quick, Ankus. Um, I have something that's, that's the weapons and shield novice. It says plus five to defense novice. You can use the shields of there all shapes you. and sizes. Uh, that gives you a full defense bonus when using shield plus four. So Ooh. could that be why it's higher? So you should shield be in shield and what? That's it's a shield weapon and shield novice. Always oh, has to be at the oh, bottom yeah. of the list. Oh, yeah, well, you got well, good well, fighter talent. Uh, you can use that, a, you get a say, full yeah. defense bonus when using your shield. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah I, I thought it was. I thought it was, I was say. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I just remember back to the first session where we all were confused. No. So I was like, "That's okay." You just seems made super me hot. Because <laughs> that's why I was like, "Oh my god, please don't tell me I did all that math and it was freaking wrong." <laughs> I, was I was scared for a second. Okay, oh, but oh, we're good. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Fighters get fighters get talent super early. Yeah, yeah, they do. Wait, wait. We're full defense is where is full defense covered? Is it still wrong? Oh, no, no. I'm because I'm. My only thought here is that. Because you remember, if you're not trained in it, you can use a medium shield, but you only get the one. 
Does it mean the full defense bonus of the shield? Or is there a stance that's like full defense? Wait, what question? Um, that seems confusing now. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take my action. Uh, so, scraping this thing off, do I just smack it, or is there a special action? Uh, the a minor action to uh, scrape it off. All right, I'll, I'll do a minor action, and thus I will not aim. I scrape it off, and then I will try to smack it. So, let's do it. Twelve. Uh, ooh, the one right in front of you? That's right. Keep in mind, you're also not prone, so you're hitting it from the ground? Uh, yeah, I'll just stay on the ground for right now. Okay, just double-checking. And you do you do hit it. Go ahead and roll damage. Seven. Notice, like, uh, what are you using? A sword? Uh... A mace. A morning you star. You notice your morning star just, like, pounds into it, and it's like jelly. It kind of just, like, plops and then, like, bumps up a little. Mm -hmm. It looks like it didn't do that much damage to it. It's squishy. And I'm done. Minor and uh, standard. Yep. And you're still knock prone. And I'm still knock prone. Uh, next would be Marius. How big of a fireball do you use? Can no, I... no! <laughs> no! Sewer, small area, methane, no! I'm just gonna hold my action till the Templar goes in. So I'll go after him. Hey! Uh, next will be Rodin. I uh, move away from the slimes and kind of double back to where um, uh, Marius is, and ready the dagger. I, I and ready the dagger that's that's still in my inventory for defense, like it's at the ready. All righty. Uh, next will be Adrian. He's rushing in. He's like, "What the hell is that?" And he takes out his sword and just stabs it. My man. I mean, oh, that hits. Dang! I don't know why it's a money sign, but whatever. Because he's getting paid, and money makes the world go round. <laughs> I guess he's getting paid. So that's six six stunt points. He's going to do a uh, a mighty blow, and he's going to do the skirmish. He'll uh, move back in. So it's like a move in, stab, move out type of thing. And damage wise, okay, there we go. Um, it looks like like it. it you all notice this? He like just comes in. And, like, with the skill that you have not seen in a long time, as if somebody was well-trained, he just quickly, like, unsheaths his long sword, slashes into the creature, stabs into it on its top with a nice big thud, and then pulls it out and moves back away. But the creature looks like it is not bothered or phased by this at all. My gosh. You notice little chunks of it are flying out on in the here and there but that's about it there's nothing else it looks like it's still um intact next would be uh Ancus. is there any way i can uh help pick up whirlin get him on his feet I'm fine. You, you can just take your action. I, I, okay. can imagine, I can imagine just like grabbing from the scrub his neck and just, you know, up. Yeah, that like that's what I was thinking. And then just attacking if I could, just to save you some time. But if it's too much, I'll just go ahead and like swing my attacks. I didn't know if that would be like a minor action or an action. Um, it would be because you're actually like hoisting him up. That would count as a. Uh, I would count that as like a mo your move action and stuff like that. So that would, I guess would that, be a major. That's fine. I'm not going to move at all anyway. So that's perfect. 
if you want to do that. Yeah, I'll use my movement to basically just like pull him up uh, on his feet, and then I will turn and I will attack this guy right here. Uh, let me go ahead and bring up my sheet, and I'm going to use my mace. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, so... that, I think that's a hit. Yeah. All right, and then it says I had stump points, right? Yeah, go go to town. <laughs> The only thing I can do is I can hit and I can take damage. And guess, and guess, and guess. Okay. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Which one did you hit, by the way? I didn't see. Uh, I hit the one that was right here. The, the, same one. One that, the same one that's been hit several times. Yeah. Um, where are... Where's the sheet to select for what I can do? Com it's stunts in combat, right? There it is. Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, I should write those out again, I think. Only problem with me is that they're so small on my screen, I gotta lean in. Sorry if you guys see me, like, zooming into my screen, trying to read them. You got nice eyes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Can I use Dual Strike? Yeah, go ahead. So then, yeah, the, uh, the target right next to it. Okay. Uh, and then, as a result, apply the test result to your original attack roll to the second target. So then, yeah, it should just do damage to the one in front and the one to the next of them. Yeah, so you hit both. You, like, scrape one and, then, like, the your mace goes into the other. Yeah. Um, All right, go roll the damage. Damage? Awesome. Do. Pull up my character. Uh, mace. So, seven damage. So you, as I said, like, you bring your mace down, boom, um, you, uh, and you just, like, swipe through it like this, as if you're, like, trying to knock it to the wall. You knock, like, little chunks of it, but it's still obviously intact. You even hit into the one next to it, and you hit that for a second, and you, like, the bits of your mace go into it. You pull it out, you see, again, little slime bits uh, flying all over the place. Like, if this was a body, there would be blood all over, but instead you're seeing li little things of goop. But Lovely. once again, like, it looks like um, the creatures are barely affected by this. They are still wobbling around you. All right, and that's my turn. And we're at Mosca. Continue your hold. Slime things go. Now, I'm reading the uh, stuff that was posted. Using listing your listed bonus defense, this helps you avoid getting hit. You need proper training. However, if you do not have the talent, the max defense you receive is plus one. You must have the talent to get any benefit from using medium or heavy. But I do have the talent. You have the talent. And what shield do you, what type of shield do you have? I thought it was a medium shield. I, I so don't have would... records of upgrading it, so... Okay, it so I'm going to assume a medium shield with a plus two, then. And did you take that rune at all, or was that rune you... The rune of uh, defense, was that given to you, or was that given to somebody else? I think that's I think what... Orlin has it. Okay. Go ahead. Do you still have the rune? Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. The rune that just wasn't... increases my armor. Yes. Or the rune of armor, excuse me. There's actually two of them, defense or protection, whatever. Uh, um, there we are. Okay, yeah. That I probably keep miss saying that. All right, mm -hmm. so that's not in any armor yet. Just want to make sure. Okay, so then I actually your armor, your AC should be around thirteen right now. Okay, so then I can lower it. All right, cool, cool, cool. So like we'll just assume I missed the last round, so you got lucky on that. But this round, okay. if they hit you, they hit you. Yeah, so, that's fine. Uh, yeah, the fine I, tradition of Robert not killing people. Do I? You know, don't push me. Or what? So don't! I live for this! So, uh, all three slimes are now attacking Ancus. Alright. Two of them You're hit. You're doing great, Ace! <laughs> yeah. You take six penetrating damage, so no armor saves you. Okay. 
it's also ongoing penetrating damage because now you just have like you see all the slimes just reach out for Ankus and like one of them like tries to engulf your arm where your mace is another tries to go for your face the third like latches onto like the side of your chest on the right side over here you feel like um like the acidic um touch of the slime just like ooze onto your skin slowly burning you as you go Ouch. um and it's hurting like hell. And uh, that's their turn. Whirlin, go ahead. All right. Well, I get to stand up. Woo. You are already standing. Oh, yeah. I, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, I can grab you. Sorry, I, I didn't hear the formal declaration that was actually happening. I just heard the suggestion. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm standing up. Uh, let's see. I want to cast a spell. Is there anything good I can do with my minor action when casting a spell? That's something I need to remind myself of real quick. I believe you can still aim. Uh, okay. Uh, and would that give me a plus on the magic roll? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I don't think it does. Or at least it doesn't sound like it. Let me double. If so, then I mean, heck, I'm going to do that for every spell. I'm just checking right now. Major actions, run, range, melee, heal, defend, charge. Aim. Uh, plan your next strike if your next action... Is... No, melee or range is for aim, so that doesn't help you with magic. Yep, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, straight up flame blast the, these two in front of me. All right, so let's see if it works. I need to get a 12. Hey, 13. I get the target number. This is going to be 2d6 plus 1 damage. However, they do get a save for it to be 1d6 plus 1. Save, that save is, is what? Dexterity versus spell power. <laughs> okay. What's uh, your spell power? Uh, good question. <laughs> what is spell power? Is it just my magic rating? You're, it's 10, 10 plus your magic rating. 13, then. Thank you. There we go. There are other thing, And if you have, like, a primal magic focus, it would be 15. Okay. Well, I don't. So, uh, there we go. Well, one of them just... How many are you hitting? Just, just those two in front of me. Well, one of them failed miserably. The other one um, does dodge it. Uh, go ahead. Roll the damage. Okay. So should I roll separately for them? 1d6, 2d6 plus 1, and then 1d6 plus 1? Yes, please. Okay, so that's for the main hit, and this is for the side hit. You notice, four. you notice something when your your gout of flame comes out of your hands. Um, the creatures look like they, uh, they writhe and wriggle in a way that you have not noticed before. And all of a sudden, like, they start to like shimmy for pain and like look like they've been actually damaged. You see chunks of them start falling off of itself and you see the acid on top of the creature, like slow, like, uh, or like the surface of the top of the creature slowly dissolve away and burn away. Oh gosh, it's working. Thank us. They're melty. All right. Turn over. Let's see if I had a good minor action to do. I know it's not my turn, but I want to say something. It's fine. It will be soon. Um, that's your turn, right? Yep. Uh, my, my... I'm just going to Arcane Lance. The bone closest to us. Okay. Eleven. I think that's uh, right. you, you notice the uh, your lance. Um, you know, you take yeah, out your staff. Might and have you, gone up one level since last level. I just got to check. That's fine. Well, as you uh, do it, though, um, you notice your staff um, shoots into the creature. Uh, or not the staff. The, uh, the lance from your staff shoots into the creature, but then it looks like it just bounces off of them. Right at the end, like as if it did not affect it at all. 
aka you missed. Would a 12 have hit or still miss? I would still miss. Yep. That's all. Okay. Uh, next would be Rodin. Uh, I think I just had an apostrophe. I still, I still, I still have that bottle of Antivan sip sip, right? Yes, you do. I run back to Ancus. I'm up front, like right oh. in the middle of all of it. Wait, actually, never mind. I look through my inventory, pull out some ra pull out some strips of cloth, and the fires and the fire lighters I, and the fire lighters I have, which I know I have because I still have those hand lanterns and a bit of oil, and I'm going to try to improvise a Molotov. I like it. Nice. Um, I'll tell you what, you could do a full round creating it, and it will be a one. It'll be an improvised firebomb, one d six damage. Yeah, I I, I, I kind of look to, to Mary and I just cover me. <laughs> yeah. Um. Adrian actually shouts, "Anybody have a torch? Use a torch. I don't have one." That's right. Fire is effective. And he uh, comes in, and he actually just goes to stab it again. Or he would if I had his sheet open. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Nah. Nice. Good to be that guy again. But Seven. You imagine this is a so sewer he... filled with methane? It is. Um, that's not helping right now either because you all feel a little bit. Um... I just mean that highly like flammable a... gas known as methane. That's okay. Yeah. I'll burn the methane away. No! <laughs> <laughs> I already did. I, I think we're okay because that fire burst you did, well, it's not helping, but it's not as adverse a reaction. Otherwise, the session would be over. Uh, VSC from this way, I, Let's put it this way. I'm keeping track of how many times you use fire. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Fudge. Thank you. Uh, Ankus's turn? Yes, sir. Ankus smash. Uh, that guy right there. Very Atlanta top. Smash. Yeah. That's a hit. Uh, 15. Check to see if I can do anything with two stump points really quickly. Um, I will do defensive stance. So I get plus two to defense uh, in the Good beginning move. of my next turn. Good move. Although, remember, you still have the slime on you right now. I, yes, I do remember. Uh, I'm just going to try to focus damage. Okay. Um, and now I got to roll for damage. Oh, did I hit? No, nope. you hit. Oh, I did hit? Okay, cool. I was just assuming there for a second, so I apologize for that. No, you're fine. Mm -hmm. uh, and then nine damage. Uh, you hit the one that was severely burned, and it looks like your attack actually like penetrates it more, and it looks like it's... Yeah. Uh, being crushed to death, but it still, you know, it still shrugs it off, despite the fact that it's dissolving on top at the moment. Alright, that's Ankus's turn. Alright, uh, top of the order, Mosca. Hold. Holds. Alright, I mean, slimes are not... i that my shot wouldn't do nothing to these creatures anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've all figured that out by now. Uh, one of them goes after Whirlin. Uh, 12. I don't think that's enough. What? 12's enough. I'm only 11 defense. Oh, shit. All right. It... All you get is dexterity in this game. <laughs> squishy, squishy, squishy mage. Um, you get five penetrating damage. You get, like, the slime just, like, desperately, like, tries to leap on your face. And you feel uh. the slime, like, across your the bottom of your chin on your neck. Burns are starting to swell, and you're starting to get welts there. No, my stubble. It took 12 years for that. <laughs> <laughs> the other two go after Ankus. Bring it. Ooh. 
Uh, 14, I think, misses because of your total defense. And I got plus two for uh, def- uh Is it until is it start my next turn or is it until the start of my next turn? How was that? Until the start, until the start of your next turn. So I think so, both of them both actually miss. Yes, unless fifteen meets it beats it. Unless we do that roll. No, I think we already ruled that it didn't. If I remember correctly. Cool. Then yeah, thank God I'm good for this round. Mm, I still something. have things attached to me though, so I should yes, you, still take damage. Well, well, yeah, I'm gonna roll that now. Do you still have, like, bits of the slime on you penetrating? Mm-hmm. And you take that much damage. That would be two... So, four. Four damage? All right, wicked. You're noticing how, like, the slimes, for whatever reason, keep, like, getting the same roll if I roll them twice? Yeah, that is really weird. I That seems to happen a lot more often on roll 20 than any other platform I've used. It's so annoying, <laughs> but you take four extra. Anyway, uh, Whirlin, you got a slime on your on your face. No, and I'll just start wiping it off as the minor action, which, hey, I have something to do with my minor action now. It's great. You wait, oh, wipe it I away. Remember that next I, time. I, 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 yeah. take a, I take a minor action to... <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm obviously going to use more fire. It was so successful last time. Real quick, Whirlin. roll these things. On, roll oh, a d6. Five. It Keep also going. doesn't work. It does fizzle. Oh, did you fail? Yes. Oh, not, and you not, not a botch, though. You failed with a one? Double ones. Hold on a second. Is this terrible stuff? Are we oh, about no. to see terrible, awful stuff? Does it... And actually, yeah, that's a good question. Does it still happen even if it fails? Yeah, no, anytime you cast a spell, and if it fails, Good. it's going off. Anytime you cast a spell, it's... Nice. I think you get a mishap, though, because it's a one on a dragon die. Back, fire, back, fire, back, fire. Uh, that's the one on the dragon die, right? Yo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, uh do you so roll you... it? Hold on. Yeah, then I think you roll again. Oh, all right, no, no, the... you have to do a. That's a mishap. So roll a willpower self discipline test. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that's how it goes. It fizzles. If there's a one, you, you roll. You roll the willpower test, and if that fails, miss mishap. The... Eleven. What's your willpower? Or w- what's the uh, target number for the spell? I should say. Uh, twelve. You failed that. Okay. Oh boy. So it would be yeah. a dragon die. Oh, it based off of the dragon die right now from yeah. the willpower. It's a backlash. The shock of the mishap leaves you, the mage unable to cast spells for one d six rounds. Roll a d six. Oh boy, two. That's right. not that bad. <laughs> so you so you wasted so you wasted your mana. So you wasted your mana. Your spell fizzles, and now you've basically pulled your pull, pulled your mana gland or whatever. <laughs> It's better than turning into an abomination or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Knock on wood, knock on wood. Not knock bad, on wood. Yeah. If, no. you roll, if, if you roll a six on that dragon die, you turn into abomination and you need a new character. Yeah. Yeah. We would have had a whole new issue. Yeah. It's like, how can this possibly get any worse? Abomination. I gotta shut up. <laughs> which is really, which is so fucking cruel, but I love it. Anyway, so that happens. You're done. Uh, Marius. Yep. Hold still, Whirlin. I'm gonna just shoot at your face. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! What? It, it's off my face. My face was just goopy. The monster's still on the ground. It's okay. You I got it. Shoot at my still. face. <laughs> no, just hold still. <laughs> Is hold it really still. a face anymore without my stubble? Just stay perfectly still. I'll get the apple off your head. <laughs> Arcane bolt. That's a hit. Uh, it rose acrobatics. Well, spell power. Yeah, it's not doesn't have that. Fifteen, but still not enough. That yeah, not enough. Uh, Let's check something real quick. But go ahead, roll damage. Uh, so it's five plus three, so eight damage in total. Ah. So you notice? Okay, so we have to do this then. Um. So when you shoot your arcane bolt out of your staff, um, you notice that the slime tries to shrug it off, 
as if it has some sort of resistance to magic. However, the power of your bolt goes through, maybe possibly because it has been burned and weakened, and part of its body has dissolved. Your bolt strikes through, and then the slime just explodes and dissipates. So, you killed one. Good job. I've got two more, Woo! though. One down. Use fire, but not too much fire. So, careful. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words. <laughs> so one down, two to go. Um, Rodin. Upon hearing Adrian say, try fire, torch. <laughs> Go in. Are you throwing the Molotov you made? Considering that the slimes are very nearby party members, I'm gonna hold on the hold on to the Molotov for now. Spend another round just making a torch then. Yeah, yeah, yeah just imagine the beat. It's like aha! No way, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, do you like um all right. You do have a minor action. What would you like to do with it? Angus, if you have any fire on you, use it! I know you have something! Okay. Um, Adrian notices you have the torch. He actually comes up to you and gra wants to grab it out of your hand. Uh, Rodin. Oh, I have the torch? Yeah, you, you, you built the torch, right? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's lit, and I. Is it possible for me to toss it to, to one of the characters? Well, no. Uh, it's Adrian actually gra comes up and wants to grab it out of your hand. So, do you give it to him or? Yeah, just yeah. I'm right there. Why not? All right, he has it, and then he just moves back in, but he cannot attack because he did his move and all that stuff. That's fine. That's fine. Ankus. All right. As a minor action, wipe off the goop. Now that I know right. I can do that. Yep. And then uh, action, I'm just going to attack this guy right there. All right. The the other one that was burned? Yes. Okay, go ahead for it. Do, 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 do. That's a got? hit. That's a hit. All right. Two stunt points. Uh, I'll go ahead and roll my damage really quickly. Um, And I think... Mm -hmm. Let me see. Be 11 damage and the stunt point... I think it was two points for the same for defense, right? Yes, it was. Yeah, yep, so I'm going to keep doing defensive stance. All right. Hold! Uh, hold. Mosca. Yeah. Mosca holds. The slimes are not happy that one of their slime brethren are dead. Um, One of them actually slithers closer to Whirlin, and he tries to grab you again, Whirlin. No, okay. You've, you've kind of become enemy number one. All for my one attempt to use flames. But you did hit it. I know. All right, hit me. I plan to once I. These are surprisingly vindictive slimes. Yeah. Uh, you honestly, I was surprised that the uh, the bestiary had them. Because yeah, I thought are. these are not in the games, but they should be. They are tough little bugs. Also, that is eighteen to hit. That is good. That 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 had to have been added in recent more recent editions. Mm -hmm. It was probably like just like, hey, let's throw in a few extra creatures because they did that apparently. Eh. For uh, damage, uh, uh, remember all this is penetrating. So I hope you're you all keeping track of your health. Yep, it's it's all going straight through my armor right now. Mm -hmm. What's Swirlin at the moment? Because he's been hit a lot. Uh, yeah. I'm at like 19 now. I took 7 damage and now 4 damage. So you know I'm, I'm, go I'm going through HP. What really sucks though is that the bestiary does not include a lot of the creatures from Inquisition. I had to create every single one of them too. Oof. That, that sucks. So, yeah. what you're trying to so what you're trying to apply is we're going to be dealing with Red Lyrium Maniacs later on. 
Thanks. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking more like giants and bog fishers, but okay. All right. Well, Shit, I'll I think you again. Idea. Minor action. Uh, and then of course normal action. Uh, I'll just hit it. It's right in front <laughs> of me, and I don't have magic. I'm just gonna scream ah and just smash. Smash it. Twelve. That's a hit. Seven. Uh, what class are you again? With mage. I'm ah, I'm angry class. It He's burned away mage. my three chest hairs. <laughs> Marius, go ahead. <laughs> I'll hear you. I'll heal you guys later. I'm gonna cast nothing uh, can grow my hair. Shock. That's gonna get everyone. You are now cursed. Oh shit! Removed. All right, you're doing shock. Yeah, it's a sewer, so it's confined space, and it's gonna get everyone. Water, uh, dude. Uh, yeah, keep in mind you're in water. I'm gonna step outside of the water. Am I the only mage trying not to use magic? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> That's a that's a hit. Wow. Got those stump points if you want to use it. Um, are we doing any re uh, saves at all? Uh, yes. And what Stem are they? Uh, constitution. Oh, they actually uh, have that. Constitution stamina. Fourteen. I that does that no, hit the tar powers. the spell power? Oh, yeah, spells. Okay. Spell power. And Adrian has to do it too because he's in the water. Uh, oh. And, and uh, Whirlin and oh, he Ankus. he uh, fails too. Okay, you are and... not helping our case that we are helpful. You yeah, know, I'm, so, I'm surprised there's no spell stunt to exclude people. Uh, Could I do that? And Angus need to make it as well because they're in the shock area. Is it a Constitution stamina or just a Constitution roll? Uh, Constitution seven. If you have focus. Oh, I do. And not good enough. Fuck. Oh, all right. I Both think me the, and you. I think the only one that made it is Adrian. But go on. What is the effect? I'm just going to use mighty spell and uh, prepescent casting to reduce it. So then, Marius killed Whirlin. <laughs> and spit on him. That's what you get for running away, slave. <laughs> Water! Water! Why? Uh, this is penetrating damage as well. Oh, oh lovely. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no yes! yes! This is what That's I want! Damage. All All right. Right. Wait for it. Mighty spell, right? Oh, yeah, mighty spell. So next level day six. Is that penetrating as well? Yes. That was, not a roll. that was not a roll. There you go. There we go. Eight. Eight damage. Straight to hell. Jeez. <laughs> Do we have any other adverse effects? Like, no, no reactions or something? Okay. Other than electrocution? Sudden <laughs> irrevocable anger towards the party member. <laughs> what was it again? It was... Uh, nine damage. Eight, 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 eight okay. penetrating. And that's all. Did I at least kill some of them? Nope. Oh, no. Cool. <laughs> you, your shock seems to like uh, hit everybody for six. Um, the creatures look like they are tickled by it. That's about. Wait, it. um, uh, w oh, so Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Clarification: Was I in the area of effect, or no? You were not. Okay. So wow, penetrating wow. doesn't overrule spell resistance. Great. Also worth noting, though, that you rolled a one on your damage. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, literally the lowest you could have done. Which is scary. Well, not um, the lowest. You could have rolled seven, technically. Legitimately was enraged to probably kill Worth. <laughs> um, Rodin. <laughs> Minor action, I chew Marius out. 
<laughs> what's your major? I'll be a little lighter. What? What? What are the makers that are you thinking? Water! Electricity! Are you trying to kill us? Methane, fire. Fair. That's much better! Good points, both sides. <laughs> Who said that? So Who I'm just imagining like those talking points shows. We do the whole rotating cock thing as we turn transit to another scene. <laughs> do 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 do. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what's Wait. your major? Um, uh, a a Adrian took the torch I made, right? Yes, he has that. Okay. Shoot. Well. There's not much else I really can do, can can do at this point without letting Adrian know I'm a wizard too. Want to yolo it and go in? Uh, considering the decisions made currently by the party, no. <laughs> you old old then? I think I think I'm just going to take the time to make a second improvised torch. All right, so I'll let you do that for the round. Okay. It's Adrian's turn, and he's like, watch the friggin' magic! As he stabs the torch down onto the slime. So, I don't have a thing for this. Let me make it real quick. I think just improvising a torch. Well, okay. That's basically what I'm doing, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, so uh... there... So I was asking. That's a hit, Tyler. Yeah, yeah. I, I was saying. I was saying. I'm making a second tour. It's like I made one. Adrian making another. <clears throat> no, no. Since you started the question before last time, uh, with the I don't remember what the drink was called. I thought you were making a Molotov. <laughs> uh, the drink is called Sip Sip. Yeah. Well, since you yeah, were it, asking about your bottle of Sip Sip before, I thought you were going for a Molotov. No, 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 no. no. The Antivan Sip Sip, the really pricey Antivan Sip Sip, is now an ar a tool of arson. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Adrian, like, stabs the torch down, burning the creature with ease, and just, like, whacks it several times before it just bubbles and dies. Very nice. Ankus, you got one still in front of you. Alright, Ankus was getting ready to push Whirlin away and get in front of him so he doesn't get hit again, but, uh... Well, actually, you know what? That actually might still not be a bad idea. Can... can... Uh, Ankus just turn around and just shove Whirlin back as far as he can to get him away from this this thing. Sure, so Whirlin, you're... are you resisting? No, not really. Go ahead. And then the rest of his movement or action or whatever, he's basically just going to pull back to right here and then just hold because that thing's going to have to get past me now and uh whatever the Templar's name is, in order to get to Whirlin, so... Right. Mosca, holding? Hold. The creature's dumb. He just goes right in front of you, Ankus, and... Good. Mm -hmm. Were you hit last time, by the way? Uh, n I don't think so. I wiped the stuff off. Alright, just checking. I uh, will be hit this time, though. Yes, I know. Damn it, I got the wrong screen open. There we go. There you go. All right, two points. Nothing, <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Whirlin. All right, this is the last round that I can't use magic on. However, I'm going to go ahead and just step away, go over here and say, I'll, I'll take that. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then would it be a minor action to grab it and I'm done or should I go ahead and move a second time uh, that's all you okay, uh, I'm done, yeah I'm gonna say that you're done good okay technically shouldn't have moved Adrian last time either but whatever Marius are you shocking them again please don't no. could, I could try and kill them all without deal with the problem uh I'm going to heal Adrian. Okay. So go ahead. Yeah, that's a that's easy. Good. 
Oh, I'm going to use two mana. Yep. Go ahead and roll. He gets back seven. He's basically near full. Uh, okay. Rodin. Uh, hmm. I got that second torch, right? Orlin just yanked it out of your hand. Congratulations. I have turned into the angry mob supplier this entire session. <laughs> I got a pitchfork in there. Torch. Here, here's the torch. Let's get our pitchforks. Let's get them. <laughs> <laughs> to be to, to be fair, though, it's kind of necessary right now. Certainly effective. It's it's definitely it's definitely the mo for this group. There's a lot of talking, and then suddenly fire. Fire <laughs> needed. Yes. <Yeah. laughs> I'm actually imagining there's like a beat where it's like, aha, whirling. <laughs> 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 Uh, so are you going to hold fast? What, what you going to do? <laughs> I get into a defensive position with the dagger at the ready. All right. Adrian is or, or I look like I'm in a defense position. I'm not a fighter. What am I doing? I'm. A what, a what is a this? Adrian has a torch and he's not afraid to use it. Um, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, that's a hit. Uh, and he has stunt points, right? So let's uh, want to mighty blow that thing. Yeah, let's mighty blow that thing. Do it. Oh, that's getting clipped. Yeah, I just realized that out of context is going to sound so bad. What? Let's mighty blow that thing. And now yeah. I got to roll one d six. Oh, good. Nothing goes on fire yet. Oh, thank God! Oh, uh, I but thought he was just uh, exploding again. Well, no, the uh, the slime explodes because he killed it. Yeah, yeah. It's not us yet. <laughs> All right, you uh, you survived. Oh, oh what the hell of a battle! Ankus, you're here. Here, take yeah. this, and I'm going to just hand you a potion. Oh, thank you. No, two d six plus con. Slam it down. Uh, uh, does it look like our Templar is hurt? So four plus. Con. He took. He uh, he's like one HP off of being full HP. I think he, be okay. he, he barely looks hurt. Okay, God. But not. Don't need to worry about him. I'll worry about myself with eight HP. I mean, Mari's healed him, so I gave him a good touch, so he's good now. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Oh yeah, you did. That was last turn. Okay. All right. Thank you. As uh, you wipe uh, and uh, off the slime and lick your wounds, Adrian turns to the group and he says, "What?" Is, and specifically to Marius, he says, "What is wrong with you?" They're resistant to magic, so I could I could heal everyone later. I was thinking ahead. That hurts. If lying is still alive. Do you at least say sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Time. Yes, you are. He looks, he actually looks quite uh, perturbed and distressed at the moment a little bit, Adrian. And he says to you, look, if you're going to use magic, just don't do it in front of my face like that. Can you know, turn around then? <laughs> Ad Adrian actually cracks a smile at that and he says, Well, I walked into that one, didn't I? <sighs> Shall we move forward, lads? What the hell were those things? Dead. Now. Does anybody want to do like a nature lore cunning roll? I was actually I was actually think, thinking of thinking of doing that, but you oh, know, yeah, it was the heat of the moment. It reminds me of those sweet dishes from some parties I remember not being able to get near. Was it telling like, you what your heart meant, bro? Please, how in the heck can you have an appetite like that when we're in a sewer? 
I mean, I'm still hungry. How? Well, it's None? been like two hours since I ate. Uh, Rodin, you've never ever heard of these type of creatures before. Whirlin, you have no idea. Yep. Uh, Marius, you've heard rumors of in the deep roads of glowing slime creatures that seemingly eat prey by dissolving their bodies um, so they can just soup them up. And that's all you can recall. That's what they seem like. Yeah, just demonic slimes. Let's keep moving forward. All right, so... Still here for a reason. Which? All right, so you get to the fork in the road right now in a second. Once I actually figure out how to do reveal areas again. Well, yep. well the good news is we, we know they don't like fire, so let's keep some torches on hand. Well, I had one hand free anyway, so... And he's just holding a morning star and a torch now. I mean, just just so you know, we are in a sewer <clears throat> that has potentially methane. Fire and methane don't mix sometimes. So. I love how scientifically uh, minded this group is. Electricity clearly passes through water! <laughs> but you see, we have this torch here, so if it makes enough fire and smoke, we won't smell it. Good, uh... That solves our problem of being in a smelly, terrible sewer. That That is right up there with, well, the good news is the hypothermia will slow the massive bleeding levels of logic. <laughs> what, you've never lit a match? No worries. The, Did uh... Ancus turn his mace into a torch? Like, wrap the top of it and then set it on fire and use it that way? Uh, hmm. Uh, you could try. Uh, if you guys don't mind, Angus is going to take a minute, try to wrap it with some cloth, really tight, maybe get... Does anybody have any oil? Yo, I, I don't say that in a character, I just, like, offer him some oil. <laughs> no, oil, I like that just the vernacular, now. <laughs> and then, it, uh... it, 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 Come on, guys, it's an RPG party. Hail! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> And One then of after. my good night. <laughs> or Sooth! What up? Awesome. Or Sooth, yeet! Yo, yo. Actually, yeet is kind of an older term like a couple hundred years ago. It's just kind of an... Everybody knows that. <laughs> everything comes back into... Everything comes back. It's all circle. <laughs> It's the weirdest, like, linguistic quirk ever. It's like, yeet! Ah, you kids with your fancy language. Actually, it's an older term. <laughs> Soon we'll be speaking backwards in Old English. Yeah. Let's not bring Criss Cross back, dude. That was a dumb trend. We let, we're not letting it happen. Is this actually a dead end over here? Mm, to you, it looks like one, yes. It looks like debris has kind of fallen in that area. Like, you okay. can maybe uh, move it, but it's pretty heavy. That that sounds like a lot of work. This, this way um, just is unknown because you don't know where it is. And you see, as your torches light up the area around you, you see like a little path here as well. But you have mm -hmm. to just like, climb up it. You know, it's like it's like a three foot uh, alcove. If that makes any sense, so you just have to like hoist yourselves yeah, up. Yeah, I gotta get up. I could probably like, just look over the top of it, like over here. How tall are you? I'm like five feet, at least. Uh, on your tippy toes, you can see, like, it looks like a little alcove. It looks like a... not much else. Like, you can't really tell what's in there unless you go in there. Oh, okay. It's like, I can't see. Can someone get a box? <laughs> no box. Everyone else staying back. I was still waiting to hear if the, the mace lit. Um, you wrap it up, uh, you light it. Yeah, it's li it's lit. It's a little hot to the touch right now. So just be careful. But yeah, you can hold on to it. Awesome. Uh, Ankus will walk up and then he'll like... You know how uh, people get on their all fours so people can stand on their back? 
He'll do uh, that. He's, he like leans down so he becomes like a portable stool for you. Uh, who do you give your lit torch to? Uh, whoever. Oh, yeah. yeah, for a second. Now okay. it does have like a leather handle, so. All right, so I guess I will uh, use Zenkis as a stool to get up here. And I and I keep the torch nearby for, for you know for light and yeah. Get into what looks like a dead end. Um, a, a small grate in the sewer. Mm-hmm. Is on the other side. You can see a little bit of what looks y- y- in uh, roll perception, actually. Okay. Do do do, do perception eight. Well, you, you, if you didn't know any better, um, you would su- assume that there's like what looks like flickering lights coming from that other end of that small grate. It's like a tiny hole where you see like little f- uh, specks of light coming in and out of. 